Hello roadies, in this very exciting bicycle maintenance video we are going to talk about brake towing. Not an issue if you're very trendy and you have disc brakes, but if you have rim brakes like I do on my giant TCR2, it is very important, or at least I think it is. It's quite a controversial subject amongst bicycle owners, not as controversial as the British A-level results or anything like that, but here is a bit of background. Let's imagine this piece of wood is the rim of the bicycle wheel. You're looking down on it from above, it's rotating that way, hence the arrow I've put on there. Now, you might think that brake blocks should meet the rim square on. That makes perfect sense. You get all the surface of the block in contact with the rim. You definitely don't want them to touch the rim like that with the trailing edge coming in first because then the rim will drag the blocks in and you will get judder and probably squeal. And it remains true that even if your brake blocks do meet the rim like that, a bit of flex in the brake mechanism itself will probably cause them to do that slightly anyway. And then again, you will get snatch and judder, which doesn't feel right. So, what a lot of serious cyclists say you should do is toe in the brakes. That is, the leading edge of the block meets the rim first. I'm exaggerating greatly here, it's a tiny difference, but the leading edge meets first, and then as the rubber compresses and the brake flexes very slightly, the rest of the pad comes into contact. That gives you very nicely progressive, modulated braking, much better feel, and bicycles, of course, are all about feel. Nothing communicates with its user quite as feverishly as a bicycle does. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. You will need something to undo the brake blocks. In this case, this is Shimano 105. It's a four millimeter Allen key. On some campies, it's five millimeters, and on some older bikes, it will be a 10 millimeter nut. You also need a credit card. I am obviously a keen eco warrior, so I'm using my British Airways Executive Club Gold Membership Card. We'll come on to that in a minute. First, I want to show you something about the brake block itself. Let's take this one off and I will show you something very, very interesting. I might have to put my children's TV presenter glasses on. Hang on a sec. Okay, there is the screw that secures the brake block. Here is the block and shoe assembly itself. Now you will notice, it's a bit difficult to see, but that portion is domed and this washer is cupped. There are various different arrangements of this. That little sleeve also is free to move very slightly. That means even though the screw clamps that washer square to the brake caliper, the shoe can move in all directions. So you can get it square to the rim and you can also tow it in or out, okay? Let's put that back on being absolutely sure as ever to put the brake blocks in the right way, otherwise the first time you brake they will simply fly out and you will be killed. This is quite fiddly to do in such a way that you can all see what's going on. I'm merely reinserting the brake block in the arm of the caliper. Now the first thing to do is to make sure that your bicycle brakes are properly centered and that your brake blocks are contacting the correct bit of the rim. Mustn't go over the top where it will go into the tire and eventually cause a puncture. Mustn't go underneath this braking surface, otherwise you'll wear a ridge in it and eventually you will start wearing away that bit of the wheel. So that is in position and I will nip it up for now. These brakes are perfectly centered and aligned because obviously this is my bicycle and I did it. Okay, those brake blocks are meeting the rim squarely. Now, to make them tow in, that is, this edge needs to contact the rim before the back. You take your British Airways gold membership card, you can use any credit card, put it behind the brake block by about three, four millimeters, put the brake on, squeeze fairly firmly, undo the retaining screw, squeeze, do it back up again, give it a final tighten. Thus, go and do the same thing on the other side, obviously. Three, four millimeters on the rim, apply the brake, loosen, you will feel it move, tighten it up again. There you go, that's done. Beautiful, progressive, modulated, smooth braking.
Now, if you were baffled by any of that stuff I was saying about centering the brakes, making sure the blocks are in the right position and the rim and so on, please say so in the comments whilst also liking and subscribing, obviously, and we will do some more gripping bicycle maintenance videos. Thank you very much for watching and don't ride safely, ride like a bit of a twat, it's more fun. <laughs>